Hey, future sellers, how are you doing? Good? My name is Simon, and a former future seller in Plantation Recruit Station. And today I will be talking to you about my experience in bootcamp and how to be successful. Um, I debt in the program in the 2019 February and I ship out on August. So it's been like three months, about three months. Yes. So I graduated and I want to explain to you how was my experience and how you too can be successful in bootcamp. Because a lot of people think bootcamp is hard, it's this, it's that. And my opinion is not hard. You just need to follow instruction, follow instruction and pay attention to detail every single details pay attention you're gonna have to make your rack every morning you're gonna have to when they say shut up you need to, sh to shut up that's one of the biggest problem recruit have in boot camp they talk too much okay those are details you need to pay attention when they say not talking you don't talk and you pay attention. If you don't understand something, ask a question. Don't do it on your way because you're gonna be in big problem, okay? If they say, do this, and you don't understand it, don't be afraid to say, petty officer or chief, I don't understand, can you do it for me? They will be happier to do it for you than for you to make a mistake and then they find out. They're gonna yell at you and it's not gonna be fun. So pay attention to detail and then follow instruction. If they tell you to do it like that, do it exactly the way they tell you to do it. Don't do thing on your own. Those are the two things that will help you successful in the Navy, for sure, for your whole career. Now, I will be talking to you about how to be successful in the Navy based before on on depth before coming to to boot camp so when i joined the navy i didn't know much i didn't study i was in school i was busy i was taking eight classes i didn't have time they give me the, the, the little when i went to maps they leave me that little start guide the study guide hmm. i just throw it in my car i think it's not it wasn't important but i was warm i was damn warm so one day I went to the office to sign some paper, some debt paper, because you know, every month you have to sign. I went there and then a chief was in the office and I was talking to Petty Officer Jabi and he said, when are you leaving? I said, I'm leaving next month. And he was, he started asking me a question. What's your second general orders? What's your fifth general orders? I said, hmm, I don't know, I don't know. I didn't know sh nothing, sorry my language. I didn't know nothing. And he makes me feel so embarrassed. He say, what? You join in the Navy, you do, and you don't know this. That's a shame. That's not your fault. That's a recruiter fault. And Jabi was feeling so uncomfortable too. And I, I see it was my face. I feel so guilty. And then I say, you know what, Petty Officer? I will learn the general orders. And I went home. I studied, I studied, I studied. I learned them. I learned the seller's creed. And the second day, I mean, two more days, I had to bring some documents. I bring them to Petty Officer Jabi, and he, he looking at them, and he start asking me, what's your fifth general order? What's, and I answer all of them. And he say, if you know them since here, boot camp will be easier. I didn't even know. I say, okay. And I make sure I learn them, I study them. And when I went to boot camp, now, listen, we was in a big division about like, 89 people, it was, we was a lot. And then they was asking question. They say, who knows the general orders? Raise your hand. I raised my hand. And they asked me, what's, I don't remember what general order, but they asked me one, what is this general order? I answer it and they say, wow, you are my yeoman. You're gonna be my yeoman. Yeoman, if you don't know in the Navy, is a job you have is, as a leader, you prepare appointment, you prepare every paperwork. You, you help the artists um, with their task because they're not going to be able to do everything. So we help them. We pick up appointments for medical, dental, everything. So that was my job. 
from here as having that leadership job that was a very big step for me to be to be to get promoted if i needed to be promoted but i was already an e3 so it was fine so you earn respect all this is like you they don't yell at you because i i learned my stuff before i get to boot camp so you guys need to learn your general orders you guys need to learn your seller screen and you guys need to learn the chain of command and rank of rank and recognition those four things you guys need to learn them very good okay if you learn them you come to boot camp it's gonna be easy because you're gonna need them for pi inspection nsu's inspection well that's the same thing well nsu's inspection um nwu's inspection dress blues or dress whites inspection they're gonna ask you those questions you're gonna need them when you don't fold in stoves or say i'm making bumps you're gonna need all of those things so they will ask you a question what is this what's your first general order what's your second general order and all of those things so it's important to learn the stuff and to finish um i know a lot of you are worried about swimming you guys freak out because you say you don't know how to swim you will not pass it i was the same as you i remember when i go to the office petty officer was saying don't worry simon it's not hard you will pass you will pass and i wasn't confident i said oh, i'm not gonna pass it because if you don't pass swimming yes they will send you home you will not graduate you need to pass swimming in order to graduate so when i went there the first day we went to swimming they put you like 14 or 12 feet tall and you gotta jump in the water a deep pool and you gotta come up but don't worry if you don't know somebody will say you're not gonna die but it's a deep pool so they help you um if you don't know they help you come out and then but if you know how to swim you jump in the water you swim you can swim like that you can swim in your back whatever but listen if you don't know how to swim go take a class swimming lesson go to ymca anywhere you think they give a class a swimming lesson take one that's gonna help you a lot because I took class before I go, that's helped me. But if I didn't take class, I wouldn't pass because they don't really teach you that much. They're gonna teach you, yes, but mm, seven weeks, you're gonna be in RTC for seven weeks. You're gonna have a lot of other stuff to do. You're not, you probably not focus on learning how to swim. But before you go, make sure you take a class. Learn how to swim. Learn how to swim. I'm saying it again. Learn how to swim before boot camp. That's gonna help you save a lot of time because you're gonna miss training because you don't know how to swim because you have to go to that class every day or every whenever because you need it to, to graduate it's mandatory and i went once i didn't pass i went a second time i didn't pass the third time i passed hmm, it wasn't it was the the water is cold i mean you need to you need to swim on your back they give me a little lesson and i passed so after you finish the swimming is 50 yard you have to float for five minutes that was my hardest part you need to stay in the water float, float for four five minutes once you're done you're good it's not hard you can do it if i did it you can do it i didn't know how to swim well i, I don't even know how to swim so but i passed the test you need to pass the test to go take a class take a swimming class it's very important and learn your general orders learn the sailor's creed learn the chain of command Learn the rec and recognition. Those are the four things you need to do to be successful. Because I do those things, I, I study, I focus, and guess what? At the end, when I was graduating, they give me a ribbon. That's a new ribbon I have. Okay, Commander Beaster, Captain Torres, they come shake my hand and the graduation, I was in a big TV. Everybody was watching me clap hands for me because I was top 3% in my division, top 3% of the best recruit. So it's because I studied. I learned them before I get to boot camp. So when I'm on watch, when I'm doing the stuff, they ask me question, I always answer. I help others. I put hands on everything. I don't let, I don't let, I don't let them scream at me because I already do what I'm supposed to do. Good luck, guys. I hope to see you in the fleet. Come and good luck.